Welcome to my top tips. And understanding the fly cast when you're going out saltwater fishing is absolutely crucial. You can have all the flies you like, you can have the best gear in the world, but if you don't know how to use it and cast it, it's of no use whatsoever. So I'm gonna try and break these down into five little essential little tips that might help you get that bass or that mullet of a lifetime. Now if I put my thumb on top and I compress my hand around that handle there, you'll notice that this is getting all tense just in there. And there's a gap opening up in these sinews here. That's tension. That'll tension. That'll tension. You can't cast in a rigid way. But if I do that, automatically this rod comes right into my forearm. All the tension has gone out of my hands. All the tension from here are now fluid. Now, if I take that to another stage, to, an, to me, I'm now gonna come onto this foot, so I now open up my body. So if I bring what I'm holding here in my left hand to my right hand, which is my dominant hand, I can now pick up that fly rod and become fluid. And the essential thing is to be at one with a fly rod. If you're working backwards and forwards and at ease with your fly rod, you're going to cast so much better. You really are. Almost like a baseball throw. Ease back. There's that baseball throw. It's easy and fluid that whole thing was. Just pick it up, drift back, throw that rod. If you can get the end of the line moving, you've got a cast. I'm gonna drift that line back so the end of the line's moving. Now I'm just gonna change direction, make a roll cast, and out it's gone. Wherever that rod tip goes, the line will follow it. So if you fuse the two together, the end of the line moving, you're moving it with that rod tip there, you're climbing up there and casting. What can possibly go wrong? When you go out onto the salt, just throw convention to the wind almost. Now you've got to battle the elements. And it's as much about you as anything else. So knowing how to haul is vital and loop control. It isn't about effort. It is about using the rod and the line and you in a smooth buildup of energy. You hold the line across your thumb, okay? Keep it under tension, but hold it across your thumb. And you pull the rod away from that point. Keep it fixed. Don't do anything with that thumb. Keep it fixed and keep that movement going. Now, you notice that this hand now starts to want to do something. And that's what you do. You just literally go with the flow. Keep that line moving. And now you'll start to, oh, it's starting to drop. I better do something. Okay, well, I better start hauling. And all of a sudden, you start hauling. It's about how your hand moves too. So you can have slow haul. There. Which is nice and gentle and feather down. Or you can have an aggressive haul, which is back there. Back there. And that shot out. Holding that line out, keeping that line across that thumb. Pulling away from that point, keep that line moving. Now just go with the flow, just go with that flow. Just go, just go, just go, and it will happen. We're gonna condense it all down to the ultimate goal, which is casting into the wind. It's no earthly good trying to beat the wind with force. I'm gonna haul and tighten that loop. Look how easy that went out. So I literally went up, pulled late, and that just shot out in and under. But you notice that my body flowed into that movement. If I had a balloon and I tried to push it against the wind, it's got a huge surface area, it's gonna come back at me. However, if I tried to force a javelin or an arrow, it's just gonna puncture that wind. And that's what you wanna see your fly line as. Not a balloon, there but a javelin or an arrow. Yeah. It's quite simple, really. That's it.